This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this ABC 10 News update. Another inmate died in a San Diego County jail this week, the seventh this year. Meanwhile, local advocates continue to push for more changes. A state audit earlier this year found that from 2006 to 2020, 185 inmates had died in custody. On Tuesday, advocates asked Interim Sheriff Anthony Ray to endorse a new state bill called the Saving Lives in Custody Act, which was introduced by local assembly member Akila Weber. It would change training for deputies and put more focus on inmates' mental health and care. San Diego leaders say they have achieved a historic victory in regard to the Tijuana sewage crisis. A new settlement prompted by a lawsuit over the contaminated spillover from the Tijuana River Valley that regularly pollutes the South Bay coast will force a federal agency to enhance cleanup efforts. The agreement is a nine-step plan that is slated to last seven years. The Padres home opener is tomorrow and preparations are already underway in and around Petco Park. And that includes city crews working alongside San Diego police and Alpha Project staff to move homeless people out of that area. The city says this is part of an outreach and abatement effort focused on that area ahead of the Padres game. Homeless advocates say they've seen some people being arrested. The city says anyone who was taken into custody had an outstanding warrant. Let's check in on Megan Perry because the forecast is looking beautiful out there. I know we've had a lot of uh, the changing weather from record heat to a lot of rain. Now we're going to be seeing steady weather. Perfect for our Easter weekend and of course opening day tomorrow. Temperatures are going to trend in the 60s and 70s for the coast and inland desert areas. 50s in the mountains, though I am forecasting 80 in Ocotillo Walls. I think that'll be the warmest spot. Slight warming as we head into Easter weekend by Friday morning. We'll also start to see those marine layer clouds returning, but those will clear out to sunny skies each day into the weekend and then a little bit warmer as we head into next week, but generally staying in the 60s at the coast with low to mid 70s inland. Virginia. Thank you, Megan. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10 news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.